Hi everyone, welcome to today's video and today we are testing out some brand new lip products from e.l.f. and they are the e.l.f. Pout Clout. So these are a tinted moisturising lip plumping gloss and there are eight shades to choose from and I picked up five of them, all bought with my own money. I think we all know at this point that e.l.f. are going in hard on the dupes and I think this is supposed to be a dupe for the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip Plump. So I picked this up for nine euros. I think you can pick it up for eight dollars. So let's just have a quick look at what this claims to be. So it's a three-in-one lip plumper, gloss and balm. It's infused with lip loving ingredients to help visibly plump, smooth and moisturise the lips. It's infused with 1% maracuja oil, blueberry watermelon and pomegranate fruit extract. It drenches lips in a sheer colour and glossy shine and it has a non-retractable click pen for easy and precise application and it claims to be a non-sticky formula. So as I mentioned, there are eight shades to choose from. I picked up Pinky Out, Toasted, Bust em Off, Plum On Over and Wicked Cherry. I will apply each of the shades here today and I will pop some swatches on the back of my hand so you can see them. All right, let's dive in just comes in nice, simple, normal e.l.f. black packaging. And how do I do this? So it says to click the non-retractable pen as many times as needed to reveal the perfect amount of product. Okay. So the key is when using a product like this is only pump out enough product that is necessary. So just as much as you can see, you don't want to expose any more than that because it will just break off. I know it's that kind of formula. So we're going to start with Pinky Out, which is described as a light nude pink. It's a really nice nude pink, feels really nice on the lips. Can feel the cooling. I can't necessarily tell whether it's plumping or not, but I can I definitely get the cooling feeling from it for sure. It's not tingling as in painful. You know, sometimes it can be a little bit painful. It definitely reminds me of the Dior Maximizer, that kind of cooling. Yeah, it feels nice. The big test for me is, is it sticky? So I wouldn't say it's completely non-stick, I can still see a little bit of tackiness there, but it doesn't feel uncomfortable. It feels really nice. Yeah, so that's a good start. So pinky out. Next we have toasted, which is described as a neutral beige. I would say to you, be careful, don't press too hard. It's not a lipstick. So even though I only put up as much tiny amount of product that I needed, some of it still did come off on the lips. So just be aware of that. And I'm trying all these without a lip liner because I just think that gives us more of an idea of the genuine color of it. Sticky test. Just a tiny, tiny amount of stickiness. I think it really does depend on how much product you're dispensing. Be careful because too much product will end in a nightmare. So just to compare, we have Pinky Out here and Toasted. So obviously Pinky Out is more pink and Toasted is definitely more neutral. That's Toasted. Next, I'm going to go in with Wicked Cherry, which is described as a black cherry. That is a gorgeous colour. Because it's darker and because it's more pigmented, you would be better off with a lip liner. Feels really lovely. The cooling is just the right amount of cooling. For me, it doesn't overly tingle. It definitely doesn't hurt in any way. So that is Wicked Cherry. Uh, so next we have Plum On Over, which is described as a berry. This I find a little bit daunting. This is definitely the darkest shade that I went for. Uh, I've got it everywhere. Okay, so this is Plum On Over. Very strong, 
purple, isn't it? <laughs> and so pigmented, so pigmented. That is one thing that I wasn't expecting. I think because when I tried the lip oils, they were so sheer. These are very different. They have the pigment, but I did have to clean this one up. So I would definitely advise using a lip liner if you are going to use one of the deeper shades. I mean, it's a nice shade. Is it a shade that I would ordinarily wear? Not really, but you know, maybe I should branch out a little bit. <laughs> if you are into very plummy deep shades, you're gonna love this one. It's really, really nice. Just get yourself a lip liner to go with it, is my advice. Okay, and the last shade that we're going for is Bust A Mauve, which is a mauve. I like that a lot. What do you think? I do love a good mauve. Right, let me swatch Buster Mauve. So we have Buster Mauve. Plum on over. Wicked Cherry. Toasted, which has come up a little bit. And Pinky Out. top tips for using a pen like this do not push it up too much as to expose too much product it's not a lipstick and you shouldn't treat it like that only expose enough product that you need do not press too hard because if you press too hard it's going to break away it's a really fragile product it's a very soft formula don't expect it to be completely invisible on the lips. I mean, now that I've had this on for a little bit more, it feels a lot more comfortable than when I first applied. I think it does need just a few minutes to dry down a touch. And if you feel like you've applied too much, you know, just dab it with some tissue. So it claims to be non-sticky. I think it, I don't think it's massively sticky, but I do, I can feel it on my lips. You know, it's not the most comfortable gloss that I've ever worn. That's for sure. I still like it. I enjoy the feeling that it gives, the little tingle, the cooling. I am so pleasantly surprised by the pigment in each of the shades. I think because we've been so bombarded with lip oils, I was just expecting the colour to be very, very sheer, but it's not, it's there. The pigment is there, as you can see. My first impressions are really, really good. Is it plumping? Hmm. I wouldn't imagine it's massively plumping. I mean, my bottom lip looks bigger than what it did before, but I always find that when I put on a gloss, especially one that has colour. So I'm happy with how my lips look at the moment. I would love to try them now with a lip liner. I think that they would probably look even more plump with a lip liner. I'm talking about lip liners. If you are trying one of the more pigmented shades, so the Plum On Over, the berry colour, and I saw that they do have um, a red colour as well, I would advise using a lip liner because I think it could get messy. I think these are worth the money for sure. You can get these for eight, nine dollars. I think it's a bit of a steal. You know, there are so many expensive lip products coming out at the minute, you know, $30 lip oils, 30 pounds for a lipstick. If you like a comfortable, glossy lip, I think you will really, really like these. But let me know, are you planning on picking up any of these plumping pens? Or if you have picked it up already, let me know what you think. Thanks again for joining me for another video. I do post videos like this on a weekly basis, so don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done already. I'm really looking forward to seeing you in the next one, but until then, take care and bye for now.